हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज क्रिकेट अड्डा एंड इंडिया इज प्लेइंग एन इम्पॉर्टेंट गेम इन पर्थ अगेंस्ट साउथ अफ्रीका एंड आई एम बीइंग जॉइन बाय टू डिस्टिंग गेस्ट वन इज द लोकल एक्सपर्ट एंड अदर वन फ्रॉम इंडियन पर्सपेक्टिव आई वुड जस्ट लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस हाउ डू यू स्पेल बिकॉज योर नेम इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट इट्स ट्रिस्टिन लेवल एट ओके एंड देवेंद्र पांडे या थैंक यू सो मच सो आई विल स्टार्ट विद यू फर्स्ट बिकॉज यू यू आर अ लोकल गर्ल देयर हैव बीन लॉट ऑफ टॉक अबाउट दिस पर्थ पेज यू नो वी ऑल हैव यू नो ग्रोन अप वाचिंग वॉक अ व्हाट वॉक अ डज सो दैट रेपुटेशन इज इज दैट गोइंग टू प्ले हियर एज़ वेल या द द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स आर वेरी सिमिलर टू द द वैकर सो फास्ट बाउंसी um yeah they basically try to replicate the wacker which was very famous ground and everyone wants to see the hard uh bouncy wicket basically which is very good for the the quick so tomorrow it's going to be uh yeah i think very very fast and bouncy like the other three matches here so do you think south african will relish this pitch more than the indians because slightly they have better well rounded pace attack in terms of sheer pace yeah i think so i mean especially if they play four quicks so that should be pretty interesting to see uh their selections tomorrow but um especially the first six overs in the power play it's been really swinging as well so it's been very difficult to bat only uh really any Marcus Stoinis has been the only batter that's really gotten hold of of the bowling really um and that was a bit later in the innings and against spinners um so it's been very very difficult to bat because usually in the BBL actually um there are pretty high scoring matches uh because you can score pretty quickly here but maybe because it's early in the season uh, not in the peak summer of december and january perhaps that has something to do with uh, maybe the conditions being a bit tougher to bat but it's usually a pretty good cricket wicket which is quite fair to to everyone even the even the spinners in the middle overs can tie things down if they bowl a bit shorter of a length uh, targeting the sort of longer boundaries making the batters cut so um yeah it's a very good quick cricket wicket devender you heard the local expert yeah. you have you have been here in perth for last couple of days you saw indian team practice session even though it was an optional one yeah. and the talk of bounce space and as he is speaking about the movement and all that how how do you think that it, it will end up make any changes and india i i have my doubts will will make any change because because if you look look at it we already have four paces hardik pandya shami mm. harshdeep singh and bhuvnesh kumar i'm more keen on to see whether bhuvi gets a swing or not here because we have a double header mm. which uh, we are going to play double header here india is going to play at night so whether the ball will be there will be some swing because of the wind or there will be seam movement so i'm more keen on that whether bhuvi will excel here or not because shami will do uh, shami will shami will be the key for indian team because he comes fast he bowls fast hits on the deck so there uh, there will be some purchase for him but uh, other seamers that will be interesting how they tackle uh, the next the evening session for indian team what are you surprised that none of the players except dinesh karthik who were part of the playing 11 in the last match didn't turn up for the optional practice session no because so, so much of traveling traveling is involved these days they need some rest look at the time they travel from sydney to uh, perth they took evening flight they reach here by evening and these players are professional now they are used to it if you look at the ipl also they have they, they, such a sim- similar schedule they have they are used to condition or at least it's not in quarantine anymore at least it's it's not in, in they are not stationed in one room at least mm-hmm. they are venturing around so these things doesn't matter they'll come uh, have some nog and they'll be okay for tomorrow but you were here you covered both practice matches india station themselves for almost for nearly for 10 days they played two local games against western western australia the last one they, they lost and there was you know even though it was a strategy just to rest key players but it didn't do it didn't go well in india people thought what kind of preparation they have and now you're seeing india back to back wins against two good opponents yeah. how do you look at that Yeah look I think it's pretty hard to judge those it was very much a, a warm up game so there weren't even official warm up games mm. um we didn't see Kohli bat of course in those games but it would have been a, I think pretty good practice for them because I um, mean they're up against um someone like Lance Morris who's rated as maybe the fastest bowler in mm. this country he's bowling uh, he can bowl about 155 so it's pretty good practice for what might happen tomorrow uh, for some of the batters so Um so look I think we're going to see a much better Indian team tomorrow of course. 
you 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 saw that even though it was not an international game the way kohli was greeted among the local fans was it something exciting new experience for the local aussies some some like virat kohli kind of attention he was getting in australia what is so special about kohli and australia i'm not sure but he's just <laughs> to be honest but he's just uh the man really isn't it mm. what it used to be of course session so every time um even when i was just a fan not a cricket journalist you'd want to see him bat um and these days it's it's coley cuz he's got the just that aura he's uh just so famous obviously he's such a great batsman and um so i think he's just so much hype around him and you just have to watch him so Devin there of late we we in India have seen that you know fans especially indian fans getting divided over who is better kohli or rohit sharma you come from bombay you have seen rohit sharma and all over india his yeah. his uh, rohit sharma's popularity is nowhere less but here in australia craze for kohli is at another level yeah because i think uh, virat is more like australian in terms of aggression <laughs> i think he, he looks into eye uh, and he he likes to give back to to them which wasn't the case for if you look, if you have seen uh, indian cricket in 90s we had just come and played there we are not such aggressive players but virat had completely transformed the whole thing he, he is ready to give on he was he is ready to take on any battle you take him out and he'll just ready to fight he just want to win that that's what he has changed the whole scenario of this indian team now he's no longer the captain i, I think this whole social media has done, uh, has done to it that's all viratian and rohitian types of stuff but virat in australia you uh, what tristin was saying it's absolutely great 90s sachin was for for our generation sachin was the best but for this generation virat will remain the best because he's ready to take on any ball as on any given time just in since you are a local guy and everyone back home is talking more about more than cricket it's about weather weather forecast so we have become more like a weather reporter so uh, no one better than you to just assure the indian fans whether match will happen or will it be a curtail game whatever what whatever your take over the last few days whatever you have noticed it's uh, going to be a washout tomorrow so no it's uh, <laughs> <laughs> no that's a joke that's a good that's one a, that's, a good, yeah. <laughs> that's a joke uh, even though today it actually is a bit gloomy um yeah. tomorrow the the forecast is fine so everyone in india rest assured it's definitely going to um, be played and we basically here in perth unlike the east coast we pretty much from here on in till about uh may we have no rain basically but yeah all anyone cares about is tomorrow of course but yeah no rain so i think we might have some rain overnight um but yeah it should be fine tomorrow Uh, they when the indian team got uh, used to this thing i think because w- when they were training there was a bit of shower and suddenly everyone was leaving so they they have some, somehow as vikram rato said that they are prepared for this kind of the whatever happening in other places especially in melbourne yeah of course they they will keep a tab tab on it and i think it's the weather here is quite bit out of england where you mm. can't predict these days what is happening but the the condition of the, the the new grounds which have come up has some ex- excellent facilities so you don't need to worry about even if it it rains heavily we can expect some kind of matches if it's dry down so tomorrow the match will going to happen my final question mate uh, when india started the tournament you know they were not being seen as the hot favorite as was the case last year do you think if india uh, now the on on this match on this particular match pressure is on india to win because they start as a favorite or do you think it's 50 50 because you are a neutral guy um i think india has always got the pressure to be honest so <laughs> they just have so much expect- expectations um i think in terms of just lo- what locals think of course australia has got the pressure in the, in this tournament um because being a home event everyone thinks australia is going to win like in 2015 uh, odi world cup of course um but anytime yeah anytime india play i think tomorrow india is going to have the pressure even though look it's south africa is going to be very very dangerous in this pitch but um yeah it's it's going to be a great game i think final question devender you agree with that pressure on india or is it 50 50 how do you I mean, look at i agree with you because if uh, 130 130 billion people are, people are watching you so the pressure will be on in indian team indian team wherever it goes they carry bunch of expectation and hope mm. so they will i keep finger cross because it's south africa is also a good team so you never know on the given day t20 you can't make out who will win who will lose until the last ball is bowled Okay thank you so much both of gentlemen one australian and one indian and uh, yeah <laughs> uh, great to get a contrasting perspective on many issues and let's hope it's a great game tomorrow